What did you think when you came to the state house? It was very, it was very, very insane. It was shocking. It's a pretty building, though, isn't it? Mm, it is. So they opened the doors, and what did you see? I was literally about to freak out. <laughs> more as a young man than any of us in this room have already, so I agree. we're very proud of you. It's been an inspiration to hundreds of thousands of people throughout the world. And what little we can do in the Senate and the General Assembly uh, to further his, in, uh, his, his cause for being known is, is something we need to do. It's very emotional, very emotional. And um, part of his wish to be known and have people know who he is, and uh, that's important to us here in the General Assembly. For he and his family, this is a very difficult struggle, and they've demonstrated a tremendous amount of courage and no one can fight this disease alone. So to the extent that he knows and his family knows that he has the support of all Rhode Islanders is the one thing we hope to help with today. After his first stop at the Senate, Doreen was making his way over to the House. As you can imagine, being in this very large building with all of this attention can be overwhelming for anybody, let alone an eight-year-old boy. It, it really is an overwhelming day for him because uh, I don't think he's ever had so much media or attention before. How did you make him feel a little more comfortable? Well, what I tried to do was to point things out that we have here in the State House, including the secret staircase. It's a spiral staircase that goes all the way up into the dome. And I told him, today, we can't do it. It's too cold to, to be climbing that staircase. Uh, and, and you don't want to be up on the dome today under the independent man. So he agreed. Uh, Did you see him relax a little bit? I, I think it helped him to relax a little bit as uh, the other thing I pointed out is the famous cannon that we have that has a cannonball lodged inside. And he saw that and, and he got very excited when he saw that as well. So I ask you to join me today before we read the resolution to welcome Dorian Murray, a young man who has fought a long and hard journey and has had an amazing fight in which he has never given up. I want to have everyone welcome Dorian and his parents, and, and today let's make him an honorary member of the House of Representatives. House Resolution proclaiming Wednesday, January 20th, 2016, as hashtag D-Strong Day in the honor of Dorian Murray. Whereas Dorian Murray is the beautiful and bright eight-year-old son of Chris and Melissa Murray and a resident of the town of Westerly. And whereas at a time in life when most young boys are thinking of nothing more than playing with friends, Dorian was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma, a rare cancer that has spread through his spinal fluid and brain. And whereas for some people, that diagnosis may well have limited their joyful life or their ambitions, not so for Dorian. As we work to serve the public, we need heroic examples and leadership figures to guide us. And I cannot think of a better example for us to follow as we adopt policies to serve our constituents than Dorian. I met him this afternoon very briefly, and he's a very charismatic young man, a very loving young man, and someone that brought a smile to the face of everybody that was in that room. He's touched the heart of everyone in this room, of everyone in this state, for everyone in this nation and across the world. And I just heard there's a special treat. What's going to happen on the roof tonight? 
Um, they're gonna light like the entire thing blue. And how come? What's blue? It's gonna be the big dome on the top. And is blue your favorite color? Yes. How come? I just like the color blue. In my heart and in my mind, as we move forward, that's the impact that you have had on the world in your eight years. You're full of courage, love, respect, decency, and everything that I can see that is good. You are a remarkable young man. Our love is with you, Dorian. Thank you very much.